Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, quick update, I'm in my second year of vet school in Canada. I know I disappeared for a while because I was pretty stressed with all the schoolwork. We just had seven midterms in three weeks. So it's been pretty tense and I'm sorry I haven't got a chance to update anything with you guys. But I'm checking all your comments and making sure I'm addressing all your questions. So today, I just want to talk about how I've been doing with my first half semester of second year. Mostly how I study and prepare for my midterms. And I hope that you get some study tips out of this video. Okay, so I have my weekly schedule in front of me. I know that a lot of people like to do, um, like to go to their lectures at a scheduled time, like it really helps them stay on top of things. But for me, synchronized lectures just don't work very well. I get so easily distracted at home and I just watch the recorded lectures. And I really like to study many lectures for the same course on the same day. I feel like it really helps me get into the mindset and help me be more productive on that day. So I make my own lecture schedule. And by the way, this is called Notion. Uh, this is a really great platform. I use it mostly as a planner, but there's so much more you can do with it. I'm still exploring. So I have a lecture schedule and a day-to-day to-do -day to list for all my deadlines. I keep them separate so I know these ones I have to finish on time. And the lectures are really just depend on my mood and time of the day. So that's how I manage my time, and now I talk about how I actually study. Like I said, I watch the recordings after the regular scheduled lecture time. What's great about studying recordings is that you can adjust the speed of the video. I learned about this awesome Chrome extension from my classmates. It's called Video Speed Controller, and it allows you to speed up or slow down the recording in the browser so you don't have to download it. I like to watch my lecture on a 1.5 speed and just hit pause when I need a break. I'll put a link in the description box for you guys. It's getting a little late, but that's okay. Um, where was I? So when I study a lecture for the first time, my goal really is to understand everything. I'm not trying to memorize anything at this point. I would take very comprehensive notes and I would email the professor if I have any questions or just to clear up any concepts. So by the time of exams, I should be able to just study my notes and not go back to the lecture recordings. And here I have my notes for bacteriology and you can see there's a lot of them. Uh, I did them in OneNote and printed them out and when I review, I would just be like highlighting things. So when I go through these notes, I'm studying the same material for the second time. And this time my goal is to just refresh my memories. That usually happens one to two days before the exam. Well, for most courses, these kind of notes are usually enough for me to prep for midterm or exam. For certain memory-based courses, like bacteriology, pharmacology, I would need a second set of notes. So this chart here highlights everything our prof said is important to know for the exam. Um, I have the species, their morphology, their reservoir, what animals they infect and what disease they cause. And this would be my go-to chart hours before the exam. And by this time, my only goal is to memorize everything. Memorize, memorize, memorize. I would come up with little stories, mnemonics to help me recall these things during the exam. And if this is still too much info to memorize, uh, for example, for pharmacology, okay, I'm gonna show you. So these are all my pharmacology notes. They're like 40 pages. These are the first set of notes. And, and then I made my second set of notes, including all the drugs, the therapeutic use, and the side effects. But these are still too much to keep in my brain. So I made my third set of notes. It's like a cheat sheet. Here. I color coded the drugs. So if it's light green, it's muscarinic agonist. If it's dark green, it's muscarinic antagonist. If it's light blue, it's adrenergic agonist. And if it's dark blue, adrenergic antagonist. So there are still nuances between the drugs that you just have to memorize. But just by color coding them, I can get a rough idea of what the drugs do. 
I know that it seems like a lot of work, but I'm not doing it for every word. But most times, I'm just making one set of notes. And with the option of recording lectures with online school, I just focus on my exams for the past weeks and save the new lectures for later. I don't know what it's like for other med schools, but here in ABC, second year is like the most memorization heavy year. We don't get many labs or practical courses. It's mostly lectures, which means for me, it's very important to keep track on all the materials that we're doing throughout the semester because otherwise, it's impossible to catch up on everything by the time of exams. A breakdown is almost guaranteed in the exam season. So overall, I'm doing great. A lot of catching up to do, but it's still manageable so far. I hope you guys are doing great as well. And if there's anything you would like to share with me, comment down below and I will see you next time.